Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings. Ali Shalmo here. Well, I have been flying FPV Vup, so I've been flying quadcopters. I'm getting back to FPV and I'm doing a whole lot more in terms of uh, 3D printing and other projects. But what I have been missing all these times, what I have really, really wanted to have during all these days, during all this time, was a little RC car. Well, not just RC car, in particular, RC drift car and I'm really really happy that after searching a long time after chasing this particular RC micro drift car I have finally got myself one right here this is a WL Toys small series RC drift car let us take it outside the box see what it looks like what it comes with what are the components and then charge the batteries and we will go for RC drifting right away. Now why I wanted a small or micro RC drift car is because often weather is bad and you cannot drive RC cars outside. So having a small or little RC drift car it's gonna be a lot of fun polishing my RC drifting skills right here indoors and we will be in for some real nice drift action and of course lots of fun these drift cars are lots of fun especially if you especially if you get the bug of that drifting challenges you're gonna be addicted to these little RC drift cars and you will be buying the more expensive versions very very soon because that's where I see myself going enough talking let me bring the camera closer and show you what's inside we'll go for RC drifting right away all right, let us take out the WL Toys little uh, mini drift car. I simply can't wait to get on with the RC drifting. Once again, get back to RC drifting. So before we open the box, this is a 128 scale uh, RC drift car running a 2.4 GSA radio, 30 plus kilometer uh, per hour speed. It's a ready to run version and it is four wheel drive. Yes, you have to have a four wheel drive on RC drift cars only then you can have very very good drifting so first off let's take it outside the box I can't wait I'm like a kid right now uh, <laughs> Alhamdulillah I have chances to have a uh, play with all these coolest toys right here Ooh, check it out look at the beautiful little drift car sitting right there I wish it was like um, you know Nissan GTR it looks more like a Porsche right there but anyway we can always 3d print new covers I have I have just the right 3d printer right here I can print all kind of bodies for this little drift car and color them up all by myself paint them that would be nice and that actually gives me a new project I believe to learn to print 3d print the car shells so this is all what was inside the box now let me move away the components so you have seen the user manual there is a battery charger a little wall adapter to charge the battery there are some spare gears as well I love it I'm sure we want to replace some sometime and if I ran out of those gears I can always 3d print them okay so there's a WL toys little drift car and look at the size of this radio man this is a big nice radio right here uh, steering and lots of buttons here for you to set your trims on the RC car it's a 2.4 GHz radio and the color scheme matches with the color scheme of the car alright so taking a look at the WL Toys 128 scale drift car looks are good looks are not bad it's already drifting because it has drift tires uh, those are hard tires for you to easily drift your car around okay metal bottom plate sweet and all these screws dug in very nice and I can see a brushed motor yes they do I believe they do have brushless version but but brush they actually work very well with RC drift car brushed motors uh, RC drift cars are much more efficient and you can have lots of fun for longer time my first RC drift car from Red Cat Racing was also a brushed car and I had it for a very very long time. Now let's take the shell off and see what's under the hood. There you go. 
Oh, what a cute setup right here. It's all in one uh, electronic speed controller and receiver system built in. Okay, a Bush motor right there. And of course, a little 7.4 volt battery right there. The steering is very much proportional and the servo is nice and soft. You do need proportional radio control for precise drifting all right and it is a four-wheel drive system with a central shaft going to front and rear differential that should give enough power that should distribute the power equally uh, to the front and rear wheels for you to have better drift performance the shocks are simply spring-loaded shocks they are not oil filled but anyway as you can see the ground clearance is like nothing on this car and basically you're not gonna bring it off-road are you uh, this is a drift car so ground clearance is more than enough all right so nothing much to say let's charge the battery and let's fire it up and see what this little baby can do all right it is time to test the little WL toys drift cars I'm completely out of drift practice for RC cars. Drifting is all about throttle control, steering control, and of course your attitude control, uh, quick reflexes. So let's give it a try and see if my skills are still good or not. And uh, we will see how good this car does as well. So I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna take my seat and try to have some fun. First, let's drive it around see its behavior okay my floor is really very slippery so a little bit of throttle actually can do a lot of drift the grip there is no grip say just a little bit of throttle and it starts losing grip all right that's what we want losing grip and this is a four-wheel drive so it gives you much better control over turns and drifting as well and here we go drifting it has very very little ground clearance as well okay one moment getting there uh, actually I realized that I can do the left turn drifts really nice you can see <laughs> I'm drifting it at the left turns really really nicely but when it comes to the right turn drifting I don't know I'm not very good <laughs> I can barely barely catch up with the right turn drifting okay I'm getting there I'm catching up I'm catching up I'm catching up with the right drift <laughs> you can see that I can get the car into left drifting I mean left turn drifting really easily and I can do some drifting around the objects <laughs> almost very very good but when it comes to the right turn drifting I am actually still finding myself to struggle one moment I'm trying it I'm trying to do it uh oh we are turtle oh it's a four-wheel drive car why should I go there okay let me give it a try donuts donuts and make make the donuts bigger we are doing the right turn drifting as well it's all about in the throttle control attitude and steering control yes I'm always doing it man I'm doing the right turn drifts as well starting with the donuts and then taking the donuts out but when it comes to the left side left turn drifting I am almost very very good I feel very easy to do left turn drifts so I gotta give myself more right turn drift practice because that's where I am very very weak 
But anyway, this is a fun car. Now I just need to get myself more practice for both left and right drifting. And then I can actually do some challenge, drift challenges. Drifting around your coffee. So here comes the coffee drift. Oh, I hit the cup. Remember, if you hit the cup really hard, your coffee will spill. Oh, no, don't do that. I need that coffee. Yeah, now we are drifting around coffee cup. That was nice. Oh, no, that was bad. I have to start with the big drift first and catch up with the smaller drift. Oh, I hit the, hit the cup again. Yeah, we are drifting around the coffee cup. Almost hit the cup. Oh, we hit the coffee cup. So overall, WL Toys uh, little mini drift car is a nice, fun car to drift. And once you get the hang of the drifting, you will be giving yourself more challenges and you will be probably end up getting, you know, more professional drift cars. The problems that I feel in this car is the balancing, I believe. The, uh, the rear drifts a lot it just loses itself the rear actually drifts a lot it just loses itself very easily and you get into don donuts very quickly that also shows that uh, probably front wheels are not up to the task or the four wheel drive system is not actually that balanced for a drifting or probably not that tuned for drifting. The other thing that I find uh, is that the car, the motor heats up really so much that you don't want to touch the motor after a little bit of this drift session. And due to that motor heating up too much, your car will actually turn off earlier uh, before even the battery runs out it will turn off because to protect the ESC or probably motor from burning well anyway remember this is the brushed version so this is gonna be the case for the motor to actually heat up a lot on this much RPM you are pulling up on all the wheels Hey, I'm getting better now, man. Awesome. I will give it some rest and uh, recharge the battery. Oh, oh. Oh my god, the motor is really, really heated up. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.